I have a job for you. I need details. Subway station. Lots of armed guards. High profile target? That's gonna cost extra. Not high profile. Bit of a family man. With some friends in high places. Family man? You know I don't kill women and children. I know. We have that covered. He's traveling by himself, aside from his guards. Traveling alone on the subway? No crowds? How high up are his friends? He's a friend of the Russians, an accountant by the name of Dmitry Chekhov. You'll find more details in the glove compartment. Я пойду там посмотрю. Кто там? Это кто? Нашел его! Что ты слышал? Тут ничего. Got another job earlier today. 
thought this was going to be a routine infiltration. Some rich fucker pissed off the mob and was going to pay the price. Intel says a soon-to-be dead man was waiting upstairs for me in a locked-down safe room. Я что-то слышал, и Тут ничего. I was expecting the typical fat businessman, but instead I had a scared little girl staring down the barrel of my gun. I was willing to do just about anything. Fuck, I killed an 18-year-old kid with a pipe wrench, but I draw the line at women and children, and my now ex-employer had just gotten two strikes here. The third was lying to me, trying to get me to rashly pull that trigger instead of hiring someone with less of a heart. I knew if we didn't get moving, she'd end up dead, so I took her back to my safe house. My safe house was an old apartment complex by the name of Lakeside Suites. There was nothing sweet about it, unless you would consider the smell of piss and cigarettes sweet. I left her in that room and decided to take a walk to clear my head. So, you took the girl. You know about my rule. Why hire me? Well, it was either that or hire a whole fucking team. I knew you could handle it. Are you deaf or just stupid? No women or children. I've been very clear about that. Tell you what. Waste her now, and I'll forget about this little disobedient outburst. Go to hell. Wrong call. You're fired.
pretty sure I heard something. I'm gonna look over here. Huh? I'm gonna look over here. Here, yeah, you guys fuck with me. Someone there. Kill that guy. By the time I got to her, she was on her way out. Her sides rose slowly as she gasped for air, but the lack of skin told me that she wasn't going to make it. She gazed up at me with her last working eye, in too much pain to produce a tear or cry out. I drew my gun, and with hesitation, I broke my rule. This mafia is taken from a lot of people. But my rule was all I had. Gandhi once said, An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. But he's full of shit. I'm gonna take everything from Gino. I'm gonna come at them with red hot vengeance. If you wanna take out a gang, I mean really take it out, you gotta start at the bottom. Destroy the foundation and work your way up. If I take out all their sources of revenue, they can't fund their war against me. And I want Gino to see me slice every limb off this empire his family spent generations building. So I start low. With his drug labs.
Watch my back, will ya? Without their labs, they have to import their drugs throughout various warehouses down by the docks. I plan on paying them a visit. I want this message to be heard loud and clear. No one in those warehouses is making it out alive. Oh, <laughs> 
kill that motherfucker. Oh, airbound. Ah! Airbound. Oh, you need a bigger band-aid. Before they catch wind of what I've done down at the docks, I need to hit the Capos hard and fast before they have a chance to get to me. The Capos use restaurants to launder their dirty money and each visit their establishments like clockwork. Lucky for me, each of these places are within a few blocks of each other. If I hurry, I can take them all down before they knew what hit them.
I just heard something. I'm gonna go check it out. Motherfucker. He's behind your head. Uh, uh, I think I heard something. Uh, He's behind your head. Uh, what was that? Uh, 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 hey, over here. Uh, Kill that. I just heard something. I'm gonna get uh, 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 Police, uh, uh, your weapon. Hit where I can see him. Uh. Ooh, ooh. Lost vision on something. Uh. What was that? Ooh. Uh, uh. Get on the ground! Ooh! 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 Oo
What was that? God damn it! Ooh. Motherfucker! Ooh. Motherfucker! Oh. Ooh. After that close call with the police, I managed to duck into a departing meat truck. I didn't have to read the decal on the side of the car to know it was Vince's. They call Vince the Butcher for a reason, and the stiffs that I found in the back confirmed that. Rumor has it that the mob disposes of its corpses through a meat packing plant. An associate of mine had advised me not to buy their meat. The Butcher dies tonight.
Think I hear something. There's the back. Who the hell is that? Motherfucker. Hey, over here. With their drug operation decimated, their capos eliminated, and their corpse disposal shot to shit, it would be rude of me to leave Tommy out of the fun. Those who respect him call him the censor on account of the fact he cuts the tongues out of people he doesn't like. Tommy runs a junkyard just outside town. He uses it as a front to buy, chop, and resell stolen cars. The mob also uses Tommy's junkyard to store their weapons. Cutting them off from their arms would force them into a corner.
A feeling washed over me. It wasn't the bullet wounds or the lack of sleep. There was a different battle raging inside my colon. I didn't have time to line the seat. This needed to get out of me. Now. This would have been easier if I had drank more water that day. I gripped the sides of the bowl, my knuckles turning white. This outhouse was hot and humid, like a jungle that was sick. Sweat dripped down my brow and into my underpants. The plops were small, but each one got me closer to victory. I added to that pile beneath me, worrying for the next poor soul that may enter. With one more agonizing push, I was finished. I reached for some toilet paper, but alas, there was none. I searched frantically, but had to resort to the old sock method. I left one sock lighter and rejoined the fight. With all this bloodshed tonight, the remaining underbosses all fled to their hotel downtown for an emergency meeting. Apparently Tommy was supposed to be in attendance. I'll just have to go in his place. Okay, 
nothing over here. Huh? Ah, so Everyone of significance in Gino's organization is now dead. Like a scared dog, he fled to the local law enforcement for protection. I knew most of them were in his pockets, but he must have had to make some palms pretty greasy to swing this one. I think it's time to give Gino his truck back. Hands up. 
Moving to position. Lost the visual one. Come out with your hands up. Come out with your hands up. Visual on suspect. Get behind your head. I just have to go check it out. Come out with your hands up. Hands behind your head. side of the suspect.
Get on it. Ah. Ooh. Ah. What was that? Come out with your hands Lots up. Ah. Ah. I think I heard Ooh. Ooh. Lost visual on moving to position. Lost visual on suspect. I don't need guns to kill you. Please don't kill me. You like killing little girls? I like throwing fuckers off rooftops. I've been meaning to thank you for all you have done for me. I appreciate the paycheck, but I wasn't gonna let those child killers walk. Child killers? Oh right, you mean Red! Oh, that was sad, of course, but what is really to be celebrated here is the eradication of those filthy Italians. This money is only the beginning of our friendship. With somebody like you on our payroll, nobody can stand in our way. I guess I'm not done yet. <laughs> 